Apple is gearing up to make its Pro iPhones even more distinctive by equipping them with larger screens. Instead of sticking to the same screen sizes as the regular iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus, they're planning to offer four different screen sizes this year. Renowned Apple analysts and leaked CAD schematics suggest that the iPhone 16 Pro will feature a 6.2 7-inch OLED screen, possibly rounded up to 6.3 inches in the official specifications. Similarly, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is anticipated to boast a 6.85-inch display, potentially marketed as 6.9 inches to enhance the perceived size increase by 0.2 inches. Apple has reportedly requested its main iPhone 16 Pro display suppliers, Samsung and LG, to employ a technique called border reduction structure. This involves minimizing the inactive area around the edges necessary for display driver circuitry by attaching it as closely as possible to the screen. Trimming down the bottom bezel, which houses the display driver circuitry, poses the most significant challenge for both LG and Samsung. Despite Apple's demand for more demanding display manufacturing requirements, both companies have informed Apple that they cannot further improve production yield. LG, in particular, faces the challenge of reducing manufacturing costs as it doesn't benefit from economies of scale like Samsung, since it supplies only half of Samsung's output for Apple. According to reports from the ELEC, LG has found a solution by diversifying its display driver circuitry supplier. Instead of depending solely on one IC maker, LG has introduced a second supplier, Novatech from Taiwan. By diversifying suppliers for the thinner bottom bezel of the Apple iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max, LG can produce screens more affordably while meeting Apple's production standards. This strategic move could enable Apple to manage costs and potentially offer the iPhone 16 Pro line at the same price as the iPhone 15 Pro, despite the larger screens. Recent rumors also suggest that the iPhone 16 Pro Max could feature a larger battery than its predecessor, potentially leading to the longest battery life ever seen in an iPhone. According to a user on Maver named Use1122, the new model might last around 30 hours compared to the 29 hours of the previous model, thanks to a reported 5% increase in battery size. This could mean a battery capacity of around 4,676 mAh compared to the previous model's 4,422 mAh battery. Even though the increase in battery size might seem small, improvements in power efficiency from both software and hardware changes could contribute to better overall battery performance. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is expected to continue using an L-shaped battery configuration, which helps conserve internal space while maintaining battery capacity. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section. Stay tuned for more updates to help you decide which model suits your preferences. If you're new here, hit subscribe for the latest information. Now let's dive into the full details of the standard iPhone 16. iPhone 16. Display. 6.3 inch OLED display. LTPS with a taller aspect ratio, protected by ceramic shield too. Design, new dynamic island covering the 12MP selfie camera and face ID sensors. Cameras, 12MP primary camera, 12MP ultrawide. Processor, a 18 chipset. Memory, 6GB RAM, up to 512GB storage. Battery, 3450 mAh battery with 30W fast charging. Connectivity, advanced 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, Wi-Fi 7. Software, iOS 18. Expected launch price, around $850, September 2024. iPhone 16 Plus. Display, 6.9-inch OLED display, LTPS, with a taller aspect ratio, protected by Ceramic Shield 2. Design, new dynamic island covering the 12MP selfie cameras and Face ID sensors. Cameras, 12MP primary camera, 12MP ultrawide. Processor, a 18 chipset. Memory, choice of 6GB RAM, up to 512GB storage. Battery, 4420 mAh battery with 30W fast charging. Connectivity, advanced 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, Wi-Fi 7. Software, iOS 18. Expected launch price, around $950, September 2024 iPhone 16 Pro. Display, 6.3 inch 120 Hz LTPO OLED display, taller aspect ratio, protected by Ceramic Shield 3. 
design, new dynamic island covering the 12MP selfie camera and face ID sensors. Cameras, 48MP primary camera, 48MP ultrawide, 12MP Tata Prism camera with 5x optical zoom. Processor, a 18 Pro chipset. Memory, 8GB RAM, up to 1TB storage. Battery, 3450 mAh battery. Fast charging details unknown. Connectivity, advanced 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, Wi-Fi 7. Software, iOS 18. Expected launch price, around $1,100, September 2024. iPhone 16 Pro Max. Display, 6.9 inch 120 Hz LTPO OLED display, taller aspect ratio, protected by Ceramic Shield 3. Design, dynamic island covering the 12MP selfie cameras and face ID sensors. Cameras, 48MP primary camera, 48MP ultra wide, 12MP tear prism camera with 5x optical zoom. Processor, a 18 Pro chipset. Memory, 8GB RAM, up to 1TB storage. Battery, 4,500 mAh battery, fast charging details unknown. Connectivity, advanced 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, Wi-Fi 7. Software, iOS 18. Expected launch price, around $1,300, September 2024. So overall, the iPhone 16 series is looking like a great addition to the iPhone lineup. More things remain similar, there are still plenty of upgrades with the new hardware to power it better and brighter displays along with the new battery thermal technology. This should really enhance the experience and work well with the new of features now of course because of all the similarities to its predecessor is probably not going to make anyone with an iPhone 15 rush for an upgrade. But for anyone with an older iPhone or looking to get their first iPhone that it's going to be a great choice now of course as we approach the launch more and more information is going to continue to come in and I'll be sharing it as soon as it does so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing in the future. So what are your thoughts on this new camera enhancement share it down below in the comment section.